Today's video on Kung Fu Maintenance, I'm showing you how to use the self-cleaning oven feature, but I'm also showing you why you may not want to. It can sometimes do more damage than good. You know, if you're doing a really light cleaning, it may work out, but today's video, I'm Welcome showing back you to why Kung Fu you Maintenance, not where I show you feature. how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right up the subscribe button, and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. Okay, it's most likely useless and most likely the way that this stuff between the door got there. But I'm going to try the self-cleaning function and we're going to see how it's going to work. Now what we want to do is open any cabinets that are right next to it if we can. This one can't. And then we're going to want to remove the oven racks. And then we're going to want to latch it. And we're going to want to set it up for the self clean. And it takes like four hours, so that's a long, a long journey. There we go. Now it locks it. It turns on the self clean function. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the fan on as well. And you want to make sure nothing is on the stove top as it actually vents to the top. So here's the oven running. Let's see if I can turn the light on here. Nope. I'm going to turn the oven light on while it's running. But I'll bet you that that's how the darn thing got like that. It's probably ran the self clean while it was dirty. And it probably came up and into the into the deal. I guess, but I don't know. Don't like it in there. We got hot. In about an hour. Stuff is still in there. All right, it's got an hour to go. It isn't not done a thing. Nothing. Unfortunately, on this particular day, I ran out of time. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it. And we'll wait to open it. All right. Not much you can do. i take the door apart. It is the next day. It's still in there. Yeah. One more shot. It's going to take four hours. Today, it's a better time for me to start this. It's about 10 o'clock. So, be able to see it by right around 2 p.m. Don't have much hope for it, but here's what it is. Okay, the deed is done. It's all finished. So, it's beeping. You know, it's all done. Now we can unlock the wheel. We can turn this off. Let's see. Yep, it's as bad as it was before. It's uh, mostly cooled down because it's finished. And normally we just wipe out the ashes, but now I've got this stuff inside. So I have to take the door apart in order to clean that. Yep, and taking that door apart is way worse than it sounds. And there's pretty much easy to break parts, easy to lose parts, uh, not so easy to disassemble parts as you've got specialized tools that are needed or special tools that are needed, special uh, screw heads, <laughs> tools to take out the screws. Not so easy to reassemble. Yeah, no, definitely not my favorite deal, but stay tuned for an upcoming video on that. Um, it's a complicated deal, but it had to be done. And uh, hope you like this video uh, just kind of covering the reasons why you may not want to use that self clean function the old adage comes to mind sometimes if something sounds too good to be true well maybe it is self cleaning oven yeah well not on this one uh -huh. you know if it drives it in between the glass like that what good is it 
a quick search of my YouTube channel. You should find a bunch of different videos that will be helpful to your maintenance needs. Also, there's links in the description below the videos to tools and parts used in the videos. Your presence, eternal, 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 eternal. glory in Jesus. 